and sweet. Hello, how you doing, Mike Bradley? I hope you're doing well as always. We are at GitCon 2018, day two. <laughs> Whatever's the non swearing way. And I'm joined by my fellow Scottish pal here, Kieran Robertson from Operation Mindcrime. Operation Mindcrime. How you doing, my friend? Good, man, yourself? I'm hot. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, fucking. You're only yeah. doing this for 20 minutes or something, and I'm, I'm starting to get a bit, you know, yeah, moist. moist in but how's, uh, how's GitCon been for you? GitCon's been great, man. It's, uh, it's one of those things where it's like I'm just trying to sort of run around and talk to everybody and, you know, in the short yeah. amount of time I have. But it's been great, man. Like, uh, the fact that it's just like you can just pick up any guitar you want know, and, man. like, any, you know, any pedal you want and stuff. Um, for me, it's any famous guitar. Of course, you know what I mean. Kieran so, is a famous artist. How long have you been uh, playing famous for? Uh, I think it's probably about a year and a half to two years oh, now. Okay. They've uh, they've been great, man. Um, mm. I got in touch my uh, my good friend, a band called Eden's Cross. Uh, he hooked me up, and um, they're great, man. They're really like uh, they're one of the nicest, the nicest guitar company I've ever mm. had, man. Like even even down to the stuff like the wood on the you know like the electronic covers rather than just yeah. being like you know plastic, but uh, yeah, man, they are they are super nice. I did the tour like the the factory tour oh, this morning. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the amount of wood this place has, right, is yeah. and like they kind of cure it, and it's like three or five, no, three, four, five years they kind of keep it, and then you know sure, process yeah. and that. But I mean, it's German, so everything is just super direct. Man, it's great <laughs> that you see like in that factory they have like bits of like tree almost. Mm, it's like they're yeah, not even cut. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's insane, man. It's like proper. They really know their wood. Yeah, and excuse and the euphemism. <laughs> We both filthy bastards, don't we, really? I know, man. I'm, I'm trying my best, but they keep, they keep going in there, man. It's just too easy, you know what I mean? We're going to see if we can refrain from being filthy yeah, let's bastards uh, in this video. <laughs> but, uh, but no, I was playing um, a famous earlier. I'd, I'd shot a video with um, China guitar, China skeptic guitar. Yeah, China guitar skeptic. Yeah, yeah. Lovely boat. And I was playing a famous downstairs with a famous amp, which is like, I had the gain on like nine o'clock. Yeah. And it was still, I mean, never mind Van Halen, it was just sure, sure yeah, so much, you know, filth in there. But the clean channel was lovely as well. Oh, great. What famous was it you were playing, do you remember? Oh, it was a Hedron 4 by 12 I'm really bad with names. No, I mean yeah. the guitar version. Oh, you know? sorry, yeah, it was, um, it was basically, it looked like a Strat, but was a Les Paul, if that makes sense. It was Diablo. maple top, mahogany Diablo. back. Diablo. Yeah, that's um, the Diablos. And uh, like, I noticed like the, uh, where the kind of cavity bit is, it had like, Little, uh, no, the little flaps instead of it screw. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. I don't know if that's like that. Yeah, uh, I is think. No, nah, this one's nah, a screw, screw one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, it's really, really nice guitar, you know. But I have kind of fallen a little bit for this uh, <laughs> blue PRS here. This is ridiculous, you know. But so um, I don't want to do like a history of like how long you've been playing guitar for and everything. But I'm assuming. Sure, yeah. a, a while we've been playing for yeah man about, about 12 years now nice, so uh, yeah. yeah it's been a just a you know that thing where it's like uh you know you don't you don't go into like you know a normal job you don't go into that i've just always sat and playing guitar and uh, yeah. yeah it must, must be like 12 years now god that makes me feel old i've been playing for 22 years 22 years yeah. wow man, that's you? crazy you've been playing guitar longer than i've been alive get down yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> obviously i started when i was two so uh, oh wow <laughs> yeah <I> <laughs> nah man i mean i'm i'm 20 i've just been really lucky to wow. get all the, all the stuff i've got you, you know man. thanks man yeah, thanks for you. Lot, man. so like what kind of like i suppose one question i want to ask like when i sit down with artists like yourself is like what pisses you off as a player like in your own playing like what yeah. you want to get better at you know is there anything yeah. I and mean, obviously there's going to be because we all know we're sure. our own worst critics aren't we you know it's, it's a nightmare man do you know what pissed me off the most is like a uh, like I, the way the band that you know I'm in now, Operation Mindcrime, it's like everyone's filming every show. So yeah. like you know what I mean. So it always ends up on YouTube, and like that doesn't bother me. You want to film, you want to film. Yeah. I, I think you should watch a show, but yeah, I understand yeah, the yeah, filming yeah, thing. Yeah. But the thing is, I'll be playing guitar, and I'll like, I'll play a solo, and I end up going like, <laughs> or like some back, like and and then that's on YouTube forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like and like I just watch it back, and I'm like, <sighs> you know what yeah. I mean? Like it's there. So uh, the the other thing for me, man, is um the the songs we play. It's um. The band Queensryche, uh, Jeff was in Queensryche, or singer, wrote mm -hmm. the album. So we play and um, play like the Operation Mindcrime album in full, and uh, a lot of those solos are like um, really shreddy and really fast. Mm. So a lot, of, you know, I think it pissed me off. So we'll be trying for it just to get a solo, trying for it, and just just the amount of time that it takes yeah. for me as a player. Uh, yeah. I'm not, I'm not normally a shredder. I'm I was gonna say you're a shredder. Or you're kind of more. Nah, I'm more of one of those like you know just chill out and just, I love that like hit the same note and then the chord behind it changes. You oh know, yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah, uh, it's just exactly like uh, mean, yeah, yeah. but yeah, man. It's like with this stuff, it's a lot of like super shreddy that like. Uh, yeah, I mean, for, like for me, what's always been, a, and I've spoken about this before. I, I came back from holiday a couple of weeks ago, and uh, you know when you haven't played a guitar for a week, yeah, and you're like, what the hell is this thing? You know, it feels yeah, all yeah. weird. But it's my picking hand. I've always had. I mean, I can oh, flag really? a pick. You know, like regarding um, if I was doing. Um, 
Oh, well, yeah. So it sounds like I'm really good at picking, uh, but like if I, that I is a stretch. That, yeah. You know, like my technique kind of changes a bit. You know, sure. so from there I feel like really like loose. Yeah. But then if I'm there, it's like a different tech, and I try and change it. I've tried sorting sure. out something different, and that's why I kind of rely on. So, uh, oh, you use your fingers. Yeah, well, kind of hybrid oh, picking awesome. stuff. You know. Um, I've never done any of that, that's awesome, man. That kind of whatever yeah, the hell yeah. it is. No, when you're saying, this is all kind of live, I'm not like editing this. No, so it's cool, man. This feels Checking like live, as, like I'm doing a live gig as well now, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like when my, um, when I was a kid, my guitar, so I used to hold the pick like that, you know. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah with the, I think that's actually the way I hold it still. I know, I know, you, really, I know yeah? you, everybody tells me I got to go for that. But oh, the Van Halen. I always, I go for the, yeah, I go for the double. Um, I, it's, it's the strangest thing. Oh, it's oh that's probably why the, how do you hold it? You like that? Yeah, just like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, okay, right, yeah. But I, like I said, I was like you. Yeah. And I remember my teacher said to me, uh, "Oh no, you, you're gonna want to eventually do this yeah, hybrid yeah. picking." I was like twelve. I was like, "High bird." Yeah, What's that? yeah. You know. And then I remember I just kind of um, started kind of having like an A chord pick on the fifth string and oh, right. started doing stuff like that. So like a. Uh, hey, it's like. Uh, yeah. So oh, you can just cool, sit man. and yeah. bump on that, you know. That's cool, man. Yeah. I've never, never actually thought about that as a technique. Look at it, it's a lesson. See, there we go, we're learning. <laughs> right? <It's> like, <laughs> learning with Mike. <laughs> it's that kind of stuff. But yeah, no, I wouldn't. So then, like, if I'm playing on my own, like at home, just kind of jamming, I kind of like, kind of. Yeah. So you've got some kind of. Yeah. Or you've got. That's all. Awesome. Do you know what's cool, man? Like I was, I was watching an interview recently with uh, Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters, mm -hmm. and he does it like you know for like um, I'm gonna have to do this. Yeah. You know for like um, Everlong, you know. Yeah. So he said the way that he writes songs is the same way that you're doing that sort of thing. It's like a, it's almost like a drum kit. It's like that's the kick snare. Exactly, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like the snares, the, the picks and stuff. So I think it's really cool. I need that's to exactly. That I part. always like I've spoken about that before. Like kind of. Thinking, and I think Dave Grohl says the same thing. You know, that's like your bass drum. Exactly, and, that's and then you snare. get snare. So if yeah. you go, no. it's a kind of chain or yeah. Yeah, that kind of yeah, stuff, yeah. you know. And then it's just not more kind of rhythmic. So if you've got like I don't know, uh, let's change key, let's do A. Right. I keep forgetting this isn't my guitar and I'm like smashing Smash it. <laughs> Sorry PRS. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. But yeah, give the finger thing a go, you know. But like, because I'm, left, I'm left handed and play right, it's kind of weird. So you, have you tried playing left handed though? Yeah, yeah. fucking shit. Yeah, it's not, you can't get it <laughs> Terrible. But um, so like, like all that can you yeah, yeah. kind of eat or like bending and things. I mean, you do oh, legato yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, as well, well that's, I was going to say you have to, if you were saying. Yeah, with my that wasn't bad. I tuned that up without that even good, that was alright, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was gonna say all that, um, you know, that um, the whole picking thing. I uh, I was very, I was into like misfits and stuff. I love punk rock, oh, so yeah. you know, like misfit stuff. Down it, it's all just you know. <laughs> so which is cool, and it is what it is, and it's like one trick pony thing. So I started trying to get into that, you know, sat phrase, just doing a major scale, just that. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah. what what it turned out was my friend was a uh, high gain amps and um, legato. So you know, even stuff like. <laughs> You know, it's yeah, like, yeah. you go fast and it's like, that yeah. doesn't take any effort, you know what I mean? Uh, even like hammer-ons for pull-off, I do tons of hammer-ons, tons of pull-offs, because yeah. uh, the problem I, uh, I'm, I'm pretty clumsy, like I drop drinks and I drop, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, I drop drinks, I drop, like, drop guitars, man. But, uh, I thought Scottish people never uh, drop up. No, we drink them drop. up, we drink them up <laughs> off the ground, yeah, we get them up and then just like suck it back up from the mop. But uh, yeah, man, it's like the picks, I'm really bad at dropping picks, like right. that's my, my worst thing, man, like Ernie Ball were great, they hooked me up with picks and it's like... I'm with Ernie Ball now. Oh, you with Ernie Ball? Oh, awesome, um, man. I'm, I got when I got an email from him, I was just blown away. Like, yeah, I was like I'm sure he's the same. Yeah. Adam, when did you sign up with him? Uh, it was about a year ago as well, just after fairness. The cool thing about any ball man is like I'm a, I'm, I'm still this whole like Wayne's like it's only been recently that I've done relatively alright in music, you know, mm. and being able to make a living and all that stuff. So yeah. it's like I'm still that like Wayne's world with the past, you know what I mean? Like super excited. So uh, got in touch with any ball and. Uh, they were great. Uh, it was strings with them for ages, and um, and is then they strings and things as well. It's about, it's yeah, it's strings. Hello, Dan thing. from Strings and Things. If you're watching, I know. Uh, <laughs> Derek's uh, yeah, so uh, I went with strings, and then uh, I was at a different company for picks, and then uh, Ernie Ball, well, like, we'll do your picks for free. So I was like, great, awesome, and um, mm. 
and but they say me out a thousand at a time because I just honestly oh, wow, I, just, I drop them like what did, what all ones the time. Is? Uh, I don't actually have them on me just now. This is a, just a black pick I picked oh, up okay, and get yeah. gone. My picks are actually in Vegas being shipped here just now. I mean, so. it doesn't the most rock and roll thing in the world saying my that. My picks are in Vegas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's very you know, cool, right? I've got a pit pick shipping them over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's wicked, man. No, that's, I mean, I, I put uh, some only ball, I never used only ball acoustic strings before. I had an acoustic gig literally the day before I came here. The air phones? Uh, well, they sent me loads, but right, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. the air phone. Yeah, I put uh, the 8020, I think that yeah, was something like that. Sense. And oh man, like, you think strings are strings, you know, yeah. like, but um, ring, rings like a bell, as uh, Chuck Berry it's says. Awesome, you know? man. Yeah, really good thing. No, I'm, I'm yeah, super stoked to be on only ball and that. So, hi, only ball. I am. <laughs> you know, I tried a bunch of different string companies. I was I was with them um, with a bunch of people before any ball. Mm. other companies, but uh, that I'm not going to mention again because any ball shoot me. But <laughs> no, no, no. I hear you mean. I was yeah. with uh, other companies, and it's just like the thing that really struck me about any ball was the way they. Uh, the way they look after the artists, like the way yeah. it's like they always, you know, they email me, check me how how the strings are doing, and mm. if I need new ones, and it's like they're just like, you know, Ernie Ball and Famous are the two companies I work with that have actually, you know, been like more of a family environment. You know yeah. what I mean? It's been great, man. Well, that's that's it. You know, when um, I like say companies like not like amps, I use Hampstead amps. You know, and I'm super right, close yeah, with them. Yeah. They're lovely people. And like I say, Ernie Ball, the main thing I liked was the family thing, like sure, you just yeah, said, yeah. you know. Because uh, I've used, obviously we've all used other strings and yeah. that. I mean, the main thing, there was one brand I was using and they would pretty much given like, all free kind of thing, but they were, I'd be in the studio doing session stuff and it would always be going out of tune. The same. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, man, you know, and it's in back, no, if it's a session, if it's a studio, yeah, everything's yeah. under a microscope and, you know, kind of looking at you, like, oh, I'm just quickly tuning up, yeah, you know, that kind seconds, of stuff. Yeah. I don't know what I just said there, right. <laughs> um, but, um, but yeah, Ernie, no, it's been great. You know, yeah. I don't want to just turn into an Ernie Ball love Ernie Ball, fest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. you know, but um, anyway, so Legato is your friend. Been Legato's doing some of friend, that. Man. Uh, I'm gonna get you on the hybrid picking. You know, even like, yeah, um, yeah. even um, like if you're doing the pen, instead of doing an up pick, yeah, do a, do a, a finger. Oh, it's so like them. Yeah. How would you even do that, man? That's like a. Yeah, yeah. So, so you got that. Coming. Yeah. Oh, you do that. Oh, yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool, man. It's cool, you know, awesome. and you can just vamp it. Uh, if I put a little bit of swag on here. Ah. All that kind of stuff. I'm not used yeah. to this kind of thing. But then, I, like I so say, I can blag the. Yeah. But if I go to another thing, I'm I'm kind of fucked. Yeah, you know? no, I get you, man. It's uh, it's one of those things with picking and stuff. It's like I uh, I, I went through tons of picks, and these aren't normally the picks I use. So again, I'm a bit rusty in these. But um, I used to go with those like the little mini. I think it was a jazz ones. Oh, like, like the jazz threes. Really or heavy. Yeah, jazz threes. Yeah, man. yeah it's I like, can't it's, get on with them at all. Nah, man, it's taken me so long to actually find a pick that I like and a pick that's like, you know, because I went super light and I just snapped them all the time. I went super heavy. But if and you're just, doing yeah, man, it's, it's the like time, a man. lots of um, and the same thing. Like and like you managed to beat the guitars up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. I think it's a tool. You know what I mean? It's like. A do tool. you find down picking? You no, know, like your kind of hip feel kind of down. Yeah. Do you, into that, do you do that kind of stuff? You know, I try most most of the the stuff I play is more um it's more sort of like to be like tight picking. So we don't have much apart from the solo. The thing mm -hmm. in our band is mostly the rhythm picking has to be really tight. Yeah, so okay. there's a part, you know, stuff like where it's like. Awesome, it's man. cool, man. Yeah. And the, the problem with that is it's fine when you play it yourself, but there's two of us, and you know, to have two people going, you know, yeah, what I mean? yeah, you once you get out, it sounds really naff. So it's like there's many hours sitting there going, you know, and trying to get like, um, I think I managed to get the up down pretty good just now, but uh, yeah, it was, it was, I was like trying to get, you know, from going up to down to just, you know, pump yeah, playing. Yeah. It's, it's uh, just getting that because I, I saw an interview of um, Waddy, Waddy Watchell. Uh, he's long curly hair, he's a big session guy, but he played on Stevie Nicks' uh, Edge of 17. Oh, well. Really? And so, you know that, um, <laughs> yeah, and live, so he's sitting there. Ah, can't get the right sound, but it's there. Yeah, doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. But like, live, she won't come on stage for like 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. And he's sitting there going. How did you play that? Got just an E. Yeah. 
and it, it's completely yeah, like yeah. for me that knackers me out you know because if you try and do like a bit more of an arm it gets a bit that kind of stuff yeah, you know yeah. but i think i saw an interview of him and he was saying it takes him like a good you know six weeks of solid of so of just practicing that you know you know the hardest thing for me to get was i used to think picking you know because I, I started an acoustic and it's like you know when you're acoustic you're like all strumming but yeah. it's like for me you know it's just that like i thought it was always you know, like your arms and your wrist yeah and your it's hand most and little and amount of little little movements you know what i mean like you watch some of those session guys and they do this thing where it's like it almost doesn't look like they're moving they're just like and it's like it's insane man yeah yeah, yeah. yeah I, I always have respect for people who can What's like that guy, um sean lane Sean he's like he's, he's passed away now but he like he was so he was stupid fast yeah, he was too yeah. fast and he was just literally so close to everything you know it's just yeah. blitzing it check out like youtube stuff and, and that what's like that. his name jo- sean lane s h a w n he spells it okay. so it might be the, is that the scottish right uh, sean is spelled s-e-a-n oh, yeah that's how i think sean. of sean yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, he had a W in it. But um, you know, just uh, all those kind of shreddy guys. You know, if you watch yeah. them, they're not really doing much. Like Ingve Malmsteen. I mean, yeah, I'm not. Yeah. No, I respect the guy. But he, uh, it looks like he's kind of knitting or something. He's, yeah, he's, you know, he's I mean, he's so got a really calm. weird. Yeah, so yeah. Calm, man. And like again, if you're sitting there trying to work your picking hand, that you're like. Oh, you know, so that's a pecking piece. Like that. oh. oh man, it's oh. But like I say that's why I just kind of rely on the guy. That's why I was intrigued to know. Um, you know what you kind of do and you know to try and let's say if you're into a technique kind of thing yeah, but opposed on if you're the job you're doing you know in the band is I mean, yeah it's like i mean i play i try and i no, I, I try my, my job is sort of two or nine months nine months i can't talk today two or nine months out of the year so i mean for those nine months out of the year i'm playing like a few hours we do actually it's a tour or set and uh, i'm in the support band in the set as well so like we oh wow it's like i do three hours every night of like playing you know what i mean so it's like uh and then an hour before i normally try and just go over you know yeah yeah, yeah. you know all that pentatonics and all the you know arpeggios and all that stuff and obviously but, uh, i'm guessing if it's vegas you tour worldwide kind of stuff yeah, yeah. man we, That's um, amazing, we do man. Uh, yeah we just did america for like three months then we're doing europe for a couple of months then i'm off to japan in a week so uh, nice tour, man, just, uh, all over the place man we're touring and stuff what are some great, of the big you know? venues what was the like, highlight venues in america oh, it's weird man like uh, i played played big places like festivals and played big like uh, like san antonio aztec theater like a couple of thousand sold that out but mm. you know for me uh, my favorite band's motley crew so we sold out the whiskey which oh me, man yeah, like, yeah. As, a, as a kid i was like I, I can die happy if i sell the whiskey so like i was like man every time we go to la i just pretend i'm nicky six and i'm like uh, play the whiskey go to the rainbow spend the whole night in the rainbow like, getting fucked have up you, you know uh, I mean? read the dirt yeah man. and so they lived on clark street didn't they yeah Which that's was, right fucking yeah man yeah, yeah, yeah i've been i've been to la twice and each time i'm just like the shit what would have gone down in 1984 yeah. or whatever it was you know you know it's cool man like uh, there's still that whole sort of rock and roll like 80s scene in LA, it's just a bit harder to find, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. It's like, like, yeah, like I know, know the guys at the Rainbow, guys the whiskey really well, and like, uh, it's actually there's two women who own it now, and they are just like. What, the, uh, the Rainbow? Yeah, they oh, own the it? same people. Um, Mario, who owned both of them, sadly passed mm. recently, so uh, I, I'd fairly oh, get their name. I think I saw like Slash put on Instagram. Yeah, it yeah. It might have yeah. been last year or uh-huh. something, like, I can't quite you remember know, now. Yeah, last time I was in the Rainbow was like, like less than it was like it was like seven days ago i was in the rainbow last and uh, i'm hanging out in the rainbow so around, it's cool man it's um, <laughs> but, uh, but you know the rock and roll part of it i'd be we'd done the whiskey and i was like, i'm gonna go down to rainbow so i'm down the rainbow just like have my whiskey and chilling yeah. and uh and uh ron jeremy is in the <laughs> rainbow and i'm like how you doing ron you know how you been he's like how you doing i'm just like Man, that's, that's this, pretty cool. This you can't know, get more rock and roll than that. You know, than the that, biggest right? male porn star. Exactly, right? Was, see, uh, I've been I've been in Rainbow twice, and that never happened. But yeah. the first time I went, because I'm you know British. Yeah. We don't. I don't know. I, I don't know if it's the same for you. Don't really tip. No, We're not no, big tip it. Yeah. And then of course you go to the states. It's all, about all the tipping. tipping. Yeah. And the first time I went to Rainbow, just me and my mate. I was twenty. Might have just turned 22, 21, yeah. 22. So like a year ago, yeah. and <laughs> and uh, we were just sitting at the bar, always on a buds, you know, and it was what ten dollars I think it was, you know, sure. for two. So I was giving the ten, and the, and the bartender she literally, you know, took the yeah. tops off, gave us the two buds, then went to the end of the bar and was speaking to her friends, you know, uh-huh. and then we had a couple of beers, whatever. So you no, know, a couple of rounds and that, same thing, just did that. Then all of a sudden I got this, your man, I tipped the bartender, and I was uh-huh. like, for what? Doing your job? If you literally, you know. Engage yeah, with me, yeah. but it's different than it. I'm it's sorry, American, American friends, yeah, but it um, is it is, that's my memory of the rainbow. <laughs> but the second time when it was all right, we had dinner, but it was yeah. Sunday, so it was a lot. Calm up. You know, it's the tipping thing really took me ages to get because in the UK we really don't tip. Like, no. really, like if, if I've been in a bar all night and I've been talking to the bartender, I'll give her like a couple of bucks. But it's like, uh, you know, we um, we 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 flew in from LAX one time. We're going yeah. to stay at a hotel and. Uh, 
I'd get my Uber with my friends. We went a couple of days later, they were in a taxi, and uh, it was something like ten dollars and seventy cents. And he gave the guy like ten dollars and seventy cents for the tea. And yeah. the guy went mental, man. He really? was like, he was like, man, it's your gratitude, and all. And I'm like, it's just a different culture, man. It's a yeah. totally different culture, you know. Yeah, what I mean? but, it's. Um, but you get, well, it's like uh, at the hotel here, like a load of American guys and, and girls. And uh, they were tipping the, the, the bar yeah, staff, yeah, yeah. and they were like, "Why are you doing?" I this? did the same thing. I bought a drink here, <laughs> and I tipped the guy like a couple of bucks. And he was like, "He's like, no, no." I was like, "No, it's fine." And he's like, "He's like, I never normally get tips." Yeah. And I was like, "Oh, it's, yeah, it's cool, cool man." Like, Europe, yeah. it's home. Europe, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, man. Like I say, it's so cool hanging out with you, you know, yeah, and um, nice, I'm sure we'll be still hanging out during the rest of the time here. But no, it's like I say, awesome player, man. And I just admire that, the pure power of uh, the right thanks, hand, man. you know what yeah, I mean? Because yeah. like doing, if you'd like to say, doing three hour gigs. It's a long night, man. Sitting yeah. there, you know, getting that yeah. kind of, and it's a meaty sound. Where's my sound here? Where are we? Here we go. So if you're... It's hard to kind of keep that yeah, all the time. I mean, the, other, the other thing that I sort of try and struggle with and I try not to struggle with is uh, a lot of songs we play, it's like it's sort of open chords, but you can't hit certain notes. You have to kind right. of mute them. So like uh, we have a, have a song, it's I Don't Believe in Love, and it goes, uh, it's something like... So that's fine. That's so 80s, it's I love 80, that, man. But the problem is, see if ever I mess up and bring out the... Right. You know what I mean? So it's trying to keep it that... See when I'm hitting the open, it's like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's super hard to try and not do that. And yeah. I suppose because you use a lot of gain as well, obviously for the sound yeah, you've got to man, do, yeah. yeah. So I'm not used to using load of, I used to, yeah. uh, but as I've kind of got older as a, as a, I don't know, just as you play a load, you know, yeah, I just I start, that. so I like, I mean, I've got a little bit going on here, but yeah. I'm just not used to this, you know. So sometimes you can get you away with some it's of that nice, kind of, yeah. kind of sound, you know, but, uh, but yeah, if you've got low stuff like that, punch. I love that. Uh, I also, I mean, we do a lot of clean stuff, and you know, all the. I love it. I love the famouses for the clean tones. I mean, if you just do stuff, I don't even, I don't reverb in this thing, but I mean, if you do stuff like uh, the only time I actually think of pick is for clean and stuff. Yeah. Like. Yeah, it's pretty, like yeah. stuff like that, and uh, you know, finger picking for that. There we go. I see, I can finger pick, yeah. but like I just, I can't do that, you know, it was plexi picking, is it called? Uh, hybrid picking. Hybrid picking, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Stuff like, you know, Blackbird by Autobitch, I'm sure I'm going to murder this, but like that whole, you know. Or something like that, but yeah, it's like, yeah. uh, it's fine for stuff like that, and uh, we do silent lucidity, which is like. Yeah, I was the same really as you, man, I had, a, I had a guitar teacher who, um, she didn't tell me about the plexi picking, but what she said to me was uh, to put my pinky down. I, okay. I, I swear to God, she, this is what she wanted me to do. She wanted me to play guitar, you know, and keep my pinky on the bridge. So like, um, you know, I could never get it and end up quitting. Yeah. And uh, she told her, the, her last words to me were, as a kid was, you will never amount to anything in guitar. And um, I think I proved her pretty wrong, but... Uh, do you want to do the finger? Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'd, ping, I'd, I'd never heard, and since then, I'd, I've always asked people, I'm like, have you ever heard about that, putting the pinky down? Is yeah. that uh, some people do, some people do, but I yeah. mean, I always think, just do what feels do comfortable. Right, you know? Yeah, it's like a... Um, you know, some people anchor it like that. Oh, you know, yeah, I say yeah. my right hand's all screwed, so, you know, yeah, I do, yeah. do what you got to do kind of thing, you know. But um, it's a, guitar's just a very personal thing, isn't it? I think sure, whatever works, like I say, Eddie Van Halen, did that and Buddy Guy, I think, plays like that. like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Santana's that, I think, or something like that. Yeah, you know, I think you do, yeah. you know, they've done all right. Yeah, they do, all right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> they've done all right. But no, man, I think uh, we've got to get out soon. But thank Sweet, you so man. much for hanging yeah. out. I'm sure we'll be hanging bro. out tonight. Definitely, man. GitCon 2018, boys. I'll put all the links to Kieran's you know, uh, band page and whatnot and social links if you want to check him. Do check him out because he's a cool player and a lovely bloke. Oh, Very nice thanks, guy. Yeah. But uh, GitCon 28, day two. And uh, God knows what day three is going to be. I know. <laughs> thanks, thanks for having me, man. No worries, it, man. Pleasure. Cheers, Look buddy. forward to it. Take care, man. See you soon. Mike Broly signing out. The devil's on my side. Talking to myself again, I'm bored of what I say.